welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and today I wanted to do a mukbang for you to show you how to make this simple and nutritious and ridiculously delicious. Ooh, that sounded quite good. Um, chocolate chia pudding. Now I haven't had chia puddings in ages. You guys know I went through a massive phase probably earlier in the year and I wanted to include some of Dr. Gregor's Daily Dozen in here. So we've got half a cup of berries, we've got three tablespoons of chia, two tablespoons of oats, tablespoon of cacao, we're going to be using some cinnamon, some maple syrup, and we're going to be layering it all in this beautiful glass. So this is kind of like a self-love practice as well. So let's get cracking. First thing we need is a bowl, so I'm just going to kind of move this stuff out to the side so I have some room. I've changed my arrangement here so you guys can see. Oh my god, I forgot the most important ingredient. Ah! The milk. All done guys, I'll be back. Da, da, da. Welcome to real life. Alright. I can't believe I forgot that. Oh, look, I have my um, my jeans on that I showed you in that video. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If you haven't seen my video about my new jeans, then you need to check it out right here. And look, I haven't worn this shirt in, oh, in forever, but I think it's kind of cute. And look, how wasted jeans. So, you guys know, oh my god, I almost missed the chair, that um, things have been a little bit crazy for me. You probably would have seen my video. Um, rest in peace my beautiful Jessie. My dog passed away and life hasn't been um, the best to say the least. My eating patterns have been terrible. Terrible in the fact that it's not bad food, it's just I'm emotionally eating and you guys know that I've come from a past of emotional eating and I'm and then I realized when that happens, it means that there's a lack of self-love. I'm a massive advocate for self-love. By the way, I'm just making the chia pudding and talking through it as we speak. So I just put some plant milk. I use soy. I love soy, but whatever works best for you. Um, avoid dairy. Dairy is full of pus, blood, hormones. And in order to get dairy milk, you are basically having to separate... Um, a mother from its baby because it's it's just a very very cruel industry and the male calves um, basically are veal and dairy is what messed up my skin and caused me acne and so many issues within my body so the dairy industry supports rape torture and separation of mothers and if you're a mom um, how could you live without your children after you've just given birth? It doesn't make sense. It's disgusting. And the cow's nipples are full of mastitis, which is because of the repeating, the repeated process of having the um, suction caps attached to their nipples. And, you know, it's terrible. A cow's life is decreased because of the um, dairy industry. It's disgusting. They basically re-impregnate a mother over and over and over and over again. And then when she starts to get weak, they basically kill them, and then that's it. Anyway, I cannot stand the dairy industry. It makes me so mad. And when I found about the cruelty that went into that industry, I was like, oh my god. Anyway, I'm just going to add three tablespoons of chia. Yeah, this dairy industry just makes me ill. Just going to mix it all in. I couldn't, I just couldn't believe that that was happening and people were like, oh, that stuff only happens outside of Australia. No. There are so many documentaries that I have linked in the description that will show you exactly what happens in Australia because a lot of people that I was kind of talking to, I'm just going to add a little bit of sweetener. I haven't moved on to my date sugar yet. If you've been watching my How Not To Die series. I like things sweet. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely disgusting what goes on there. Anyway, oh god, I'm making a bit of a mess. So anyway, you mix all that up, it takes a bit of time. Here's what I prepared earlier. You need to make sure that it's mixed in properly and it doesn't look like Marley. I'm just going to move that to the side because this is what it looks like. 
See? Delicious goodness. And it's thick. So that's three tablespoons into this. I think that's probably about one and a half cups of milk. Plant milk, pus-free cruelty. No animal needs to be harmed in the making of this. It's just cool. I just want to taste it. Mmm, my oh god. So good. Anyway. Oh, and then I would have added cinnamon into the other one, but whatever. Whatever works best for you. I just like to make it thick. You can put less chia seeds and it kind of is like more of a runny liquid. I like them to be thick because when I pack different layers into my glass, I like it to look good. Anyway, so the hardest part is to make this not look messy. We'll see how we go. Anyway, what was I saying? The dairy industry is cruel. Jesse passed. Oh my god, about Jesse. Whew. So, my parents and my brother and sister buried. Oh, jeez Louise. Jesse in, um, in their backyard. And my mum hasn't been coping. None of us have been coping, really. And um, then last night, Jesse came to my mum and. I don't know if you guys believe in the spiritual realm, but I do. I believe that our bodies are temporary and that we are reincarnated, which was kind of a, a shock to my mom because we were raised like Catholic and my mom never believed in like the spirits and stuff like that. But she said to me, she sent us this message and she said, let me read it to you. I don't know if my mom will watch this video because she's been a little bit sad and she hasn't been able to watch my channel, especially the Jessie video. She said, morning girl, she's sending this message to me and my sister. She said, I thought I'd share something special that happened to me last night. I was feeling really sad and lonely yesterday when I came home from school because it was the first time the house was empty and no Jessie to greet me. Didn't feel much like having dinner. Mitch must have sensed it. He's my brother. And he made me dinner. I didn't go to bed till late, but when I went to sleep for my med meditation on, there... Then, for no reason, in the middle of the night, I woke up and smelled Jessie. She came and visited me last night and slept beside me. I'm sure of it. How special is that? You girls said that. You, you girls said to look for signs. I didn't even need to look. She just came. I now know she comes and visits me, feeling so much better today. Whew. So I think that's beautiful. That you know, that mum has that comfort again. Because I worry because I'm not there and stuff. And I was like. My poor mom, or should I go home? But I don't feel it's the right time to go. Can you see all this? I'm just layering away. And so I just feel like a bit of comfort knowing that my mom's doing okay and that Jessie's there. I knew she would come. <sighs> anyway, it's tough when you go through loss, and I just find it really. It's just a, It's just completely new, and. The emotions that you go through through stress cause the illness and disease within your body. <laughs> For me, let's talk about all these issues that I now have. I feel like I've just been telling you all this stuff that's been going on that's been bad, but there's lots of changes that have been going on in the world. And I just like to keep you up to date <laughs> and just let you know how I'm coping in these situations because I hope to inspire you if, if this is something that you're going through. Anyway. So, um, my bowel movements have been terrible lately. I've, um, I'm kind of blocking my face. How am I going to do this? Maybe if I move this up, take this one back. So, um, my bowel movements have been crazy. I'm just going to shuffle this in. Um, I used to do like three a day. Like, the layering is not very good. Um, so I do one in the morning, one after I had breakfast, one after lunch, so three a day. I'm doing one a day now and they're not very big, um, which is not good. But my body just needs some time to heal. My skin flared up. If you follow me on Snapchat, MK Love Official, you would know that because I, I showed you and I spoke about that. And Snapchat is really cool. I think it's like a great way to see like behind the scenes and to catch up what's actually going on there and then. I'm just going to add all these on top. Oh, looks beautiful. I can't 
kind of need like a a big one to finish it off. All right, <clears throat> I'm just going to add a little bit more of these oats to some of the top. Oh, well, there's some more berries in there. We'll just top them off with this one. I kind of need like a big strawberry on top, but then that's all I've got. See that? <clears throat> How beautiful. Anyway, so that's going to be quite filling. So I'm just going to move that to the side. Oh, my fingers have changed colour. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. I'm just going to take a quick picture of this one so I can actually use it for Instagram. My Instagram's been suffering a bit lately. Well, lighting's bad there. I'm just going to move to this side. I always have a good window, good Instagram. Actually, I might need to go outside. Hold on. Give this a taste test. Kind of like to mix it in a bit. I just have to move this table. Oh yeah, so good. I like the chocolate addition to it. So good. It's crazy to think that something like this is so easy yet so good for you. Hmm. Probably should have let the um, the berries thaw out before I actually ate this because it's cold here. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's check in Dr. Gregor's app to see how many things of the Daily Dozen we've ticked off. Okay, so we've got our berries. Oh, I got brain freeze from that. <sighs> so instead of our flux, we've actually got chia seeds, so I'm actually going to take that one off. Um, I'd say one serve of beans because we've used soy. We've used oats. What's a serving of oats? Half a cup of cereal. I'm going to take that one off. What else have we got? Mm, we haven't got very much ticked. Oh, you know what would be good? Let's get some peanut butter. So we can take another one off, and it's my favorite. Hold on. All right, so I get this peanut butter from Flannery's. I had to put melon in it because Peter and I got different ones. <laughs> it's pretty cheap. $4.40 and it's just 100% peanuts. So I'm just going to get a tablespoon. Oh my god. How good is that? So good. I have a massive peanut butter addiction. You know, we get stuck in your teeth and you're like Mr. Ed. Okay, so let's take off the peanut butter one. Nuts. We can't take off a whole one. This one's not very good. Hmm, okay. Let's just say, so I already had a cup of tea today, this one, because I got up at like 5 o'clock to start rebuilding my website. I've had some issues, and I have something really, really cool that's coming to you very, very shortly. It's actually free. This is a free guide that I'm making before the ebook comes, but we'll talk more about this later. Um, any other fruit? No. So we've ticked one, two, three, four, five. Five! Normally I take off ten. Mm. Oh well. Just means that I'll have to up other things. Oh gosh. Let's just keep eating this oh, massive chunk of peanut butter. Are you hungry, my loves? I don't know why he said noise. Oh my god. I didn't see that.
Whoa. That's a massive chunk of peanut butter in my mouth. I really like it. Hmm. It's so fresh and so good. I would eat this as a breakfast, well, like I'm doing today. Not as an everyday breakfast because it doesn't tick off very much. And chia seeds are expensive. They're like 20 bucks a kilo here. Um, but it's just kind of nice to have every now and then. I actually released the recipe for this on my um, my Valentine's Day video. Oh my gosh, at that stage I was like mad about them. But it's just, I just love it. It's so easy and it looks like you've got mad skill, but it's so easy to make it. Oh wow. So, what else has been going on for me? Hmm. Oh, this is crazy. So, on Saturday or Sunday, I'm just making a mess of this right now. <laughs> so, on Saturday or Sunday, I had um, some Jehovah's Witness come over. Some very interesting conversation. And they were talking about how um, God is going to save us and is going to change the world and He's going to come in and sweep us up and make everything better, but we just have to wait for it. And I said to them, I was like, you know, God is inside us, or the power of the universe is inside us, and we have the option to change. By changing ourselves, we in turn change the world. They didn't make the connection with that. And they were like, oh, so what do you believe in? And I was like, love. Love heals all blockages. You know, if you come from a background of emotional eating or bulimia, anorexia, anywhere where you don't have a healthy relationship with food or, you know, you um, are overweight and you want to lose it and, you know, you've got illness and disease within your body. Love heals those blockages by you making peace with what's going on in your past. You then have the ability to change your future. Anyway, they weren't having it. And then they were talking about how global warming is affecting our planet. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I was like did you know that animal agriculture is the number one cause of, um, what is it? Deforestation? No, deforestation. Oh my god, I can't remember my facts. Let me look at the Cowspiracy website. I know that 91% of the animal, anim, 91% of the Amazon rainforest is being destroyed because of animal agriculture. I just can't remember the first statistic. Cowspiracy.com will sort you out. The Sustainability Secret. If you haven't watched that yet, I highly recommend it. It's incredible. It talks about the incredible impacts um, that animal agriculture is having on our planet. It's on Netflix, so you can watch it for free. Um, I just got to find the facts on their website. Okay. Facts. Tell me all the facts, please, boys. Facts. Facts and sources. Here we go. Dun, dun. Mm, their mobile version is not very good. Maybe it's my internet. Anyway, I'll just I'll link it in the description. You can check it out. Oh no, it's gonna load. Okay. Let's have a look at the infographic, which is quite good. It's basically saying that animal agriculture is ruining our planet, which is scary and sad at the same time. It's like, we need to take action to change this. And by doing that, you can go vegan. Anyway, I actually filmed another video about my reaction to it. and But I got too fired up and I just decided not to post it because I thought it was a bit too, ah, 
because someone said to me in the video where I meant when I was talking about Jesse passing away and they were saying um oh Mel that was the first time I've seen you like get fired up and I was like you know I don't talk about like the ethics of um going vegan and like the activism side because it makes me so mad and I know that when I first started transitioning to become vegan that turned me off and I lost a lot of friends from doing that actually and then I was like oh you know the softer approach works but I'm kind of getting to the stage now where I'm like how you can't just sit there and like people need to be educated it's just finding the right way and I haven't really worked out what works best for me yet so that's why it's on a massive scene on my channel so, so let me know, like, what is going on for you guys? Is this something that you're struggling with? Because I recently Skyped Jo, my friend. Um, she, worked, she did have a YouTube channel, um, Fildy, fantastic idea, let's do it. Now she's changed over to Fierce Mission. And she actually, um, she actually, I actually recorded a podcast with her last Wednesday, which was really exciting, so I'll link you when that all comes through. Um, and we were, she was talking about it too and she said that she was like invited to her friend's house and they were saying oh we're going to cook lamb on the barbecue and blah 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 and she was just like I don't think they realise what that means to have lamb on the barbecue and a lamb is just an innocent baby animal that's just getting slaughtered for your own selfish greed to eat like I don't think that that's okay so it's hard and that's what I struggle with when I meet new people it's like how do you approach it with them because you don't want to be like too standoffish but you don't want to you know not say anything or be too aggressive so finding the middle ground is hard I think that's why I convert a lot of people to veganism through self-love approach because that works for me but at the same time I question myself and I'm like am I doing enough <sighs> Anyway, cruelty free goodness here, my loves. It's so easy to eat vegan. It's so easy. I struggled initially because I went raw. I was raw vegan. I ate nothing that was cooked or heated above 48 degrees Celsius. So that was like learning a new language and I just, so that cut out, instantly cut out preservatives. But, when I was first pescatarian, I didn't eat any preservatives and I lost 10 kilos by just cutting out preservatives. I didn't even exercise at that time. So, you just have to find what works best. Anyway, I don't know where that segment was going. But I really, really like this. Kind of the perfect amount for me too. Almost done. It doesn't look appealing, but my god, it tastes good. You guys seriously need to make this recipe. Well, now it's just a massive bits of peanut butter. <laughs> Could slow down my speech. This is on the Cowspiracy side. It says animal agriculture is responsible for 18% of greenhouse gas emissions, more than the combined exhaust from all transportation. You know how people are buying hybrid cars? That doesn't mean squat. What else does it say? Mm -hmm. Livestock and their byproducts account for at least 32,000 million tons of carbon di dioxide per year, or 51% of all of the worldwide greenhouse gas emissions. That's insane. Let me read that one again. Livestock in their byproducts account for at least 32 million tons of carbon dioxide per year, or that's equivalent to 51% of the worldwide greenhouse gas emissions. See, we can make the change. You guys need to spread the message. You need to share these videos, share Instagram posts, Watch Cowspiracy, share the link with your friends, get them over and have like a girls night or I know there's a lot more guys watching my channel now so hi. <laughs> but you know, get people together, educate them because when you have the knowledge then you can make better choices. 
It just makes sense. And why would you not eat plants? But they taste so good, you just need to know how to combine them together. That's why I basically, that's why I'm so excited to release my ebook, my recipe ebook to you. I have another one coming before that. Um, my recipe ebook because it's just like everything that I have learned over the past three years is combined into this book. Everything from um, simple recipes because I'm like the laziest cook. Like have a look at this. This is so easy but it tastes so good and it's got minimal ingredients and you know there's no preservatives in any of this. I just like making simple food and to make simple food taste good without hurting other animals like that's the way forward and if it can cure illness and disease because a lot of the recipes that I'm um, showing you are, are always um, that are incorporating Dr. Gregor's daily dozen which shows you how to reverse and prevent disease so if you want to feel good look good and not die I got you covered anyways I really love maple syrup, but why is it so expensive? For 250 mils in Australia, that is $7, $7. So seven fours are 28, $28 a litre of maple, anyway. Anyways, my love. <laughs> I feel like I need a drink of water after this because I got peanut butter everywhere. Anyways, my loves, I just wanted to say I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices, increase your self love practices, watch my video on how to manifest a vegan partner. You don't necessarily need to use the, the partner part, but it helps you manifest everything you need in your life. And just educate yourself because, you know, by you changing yourself, you change the world. Love heals all blockages. Continue to make better choices. And I will see you next episode. Love you so much, guys.